welcome back to another vlog. So today is Monday. We are starting our work week. Not our work week because I'm not working. I'm on maternity leave. But we're starting our week again. Um, this is my fourth week on maternity leave. She'll be four weeks old on Friday. So I can't believe it's going by so fast. Anyway, so my kids completely destroyed my house this weekend. Um, I have zero energy in me today, but I know that if I don't get something done today, then it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time, put on some music, and I'm going to clean up this house. So I always like to start at the back of my house and then I'll move my way forward. So we are in my bathroom right now. I'm just gonna pick up around the bathroom to get the trash taken out, switch out the wax melts, um, things like that. So let's get this vlog going and hopefully I'll give you some motivation and I'm gonna take you along up the week and see what all we can get done this week. So let's go. So I am starting out in my bathroom, which is actually at the back of my house. Like I said, I like to start at the back and I do have a wax warmer in here. Um, so I'm just going to switch that out. I use cotton pads or cotton balls to get the wax out instead of just dumping it. It's just better that way. And then I walked into my closet and I noticed that there was hangers all, all over the floor. I can only assume that was for my children. <laughs> and then I walked over to the toilet and there was an entire roll of toilet paper in the toilet. So I had to fish that out, which was disgusting kids are just crazy um and then i like to make my bed every single day let me know down below do you guys make your bed every day i really feel like it just puts the whole room together even if it's just your blanket thrown over your pillows to make it look a little bit neater i don't do the whole you know 14 pillows on the bed or the blanket on, on the end of the bed i just don't do that it's not really necessary i feel like it does make it pretty but you know, if you're just gonna crawl into bed in eight hours, I don't feel like it's really necessary. Um, and then I am trying to keep up on the laundry. We just moved into this house um, a little bit over a month ago, and I'm really trying to keep things clean. So especially with me being on maternity leave, it's a lot easier for me to just take a little bit of time in the mornings after I drop the kids off at school and just go through room by room and make sure that everything is just picked up and in its place. Um, I haven't really done like a deep clean yet. So if you guys want to see like more in-depth cleaning videos, let me know um, because I'm trying to like expand my, my channel and just do more. Um, I'm really trying to focus on my channel and I don't know. You guys let me know down below what you want to see and I will try and do that for you. But um, I am in my other daughter's room picking up all of her stuff. My kids were in here playing the night before and I was busy with the baby. But when I walked in here this morning to get my daughter dressed, I noticed their dinner plates were all over the floor and we had had rice the night before. So there was rice all over the floor with beans and then my son had ripped up one of my daughter's um, school projects. So she was crying about that last night. It was just one of those nights and I just could not keep up with my kids last night. So anyway, I was in here just trying to tidy up in her room. So I moved on to my son's room and he is probably the biggest slob of them all. Boys are just so messy and they do not care. Um, so I picked up his room as well. My kids don't have that much stuff. They just tend to like carry their stuff back and forth to each other's rooms. So it just makes it feel messy all the time. Um, let me know down below if you guys clean your kids rooms. I just try to help them keep it picked up and if they are home then i do make them help me so then i just moved on to the kitchen i needed to gather up the trash and tidy up the counters do the dishes just unload the dishwasher and then load it back and then i also needed to sweep the floors really quickly before the baby woke up I do try to load the dishwasher at night so that all I have to do is unload it and then have dishes ready to go in all day, but it just did not happen this night. This new house has this stainless steel kitchen sink and I can definitely tell that it was not very well taken care of. 
Um, it's just really rough. And I'm curious if you guys have any tips on how to get the stainless steel sink back to shining and clean. Um, I've heard Barkeeper's Friend works really well, but if you have any more suggestions, please let me know. This area that I'm sweeping right now is one of the spaces in the house that I'm kind of at a loss of what to do with. Um, obviously we have a high top counter, so I'm gonna put some bar stools there, but the space over to my left, um, I just really don't know what to do with. I'm thinking about doing a coffee bar, but I'm not sure. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know down below. And then this space out here is actually supposed to be a dining room, but there's no heating and air that goes to it. So I definitely would not suggest it be a dining room, um, but I think I'm going to make it like a workout area because I have an elliptical that I could put in here and then maybe some other things that my husband would want to put in there. But anyway, that's just some um, future ideas at the house. Um, I was picking up this stuff in the chair and um, you'll see me gather up all the Nintendo Switch stuff. And when I got the bag for the Switch, a spider crawled out of it. And I'm not even kidding. That spider was probably like two inches wide. It was so, so big. And it just jumped out. And you'll see me just like back away because I was like, I don't know what to do about this. But anyway, huge spider. We're going to be calling a bug guy for sure. It is the next day. Um, I had to go to Walmart and get a real quick fill-in order, so I figured I would show you what I got. We'll start down here. Um, I got my kids some of these little monster fruit snacks. I figured this would be fun for Halloween coming up. Um, if you're not aware, hit up your Walmart because they have a ton of like Halloween snacks, and they're perfectly individually portioned for kids, and they're fairly cheap. So, got some of these, and then I've still been craving like fruits and veggies. So, um, I got two Honeycrisp apples. Some more bananas, some carrots. I like getting the petite because they're a lot smaller. They are like a dollar more, but I think they're worth it. And then I got a broccoli and cauliflower medley to dip in ranch for lunches. And then for breakfast, I wanted to get some of this diced ham because I'm gonna be making some omelets. Um, so I got diced ham. And then one of my favorite fall snacks is peanuts with candy corn. You just like mix them all together and then you eat it together and it's amazing. If you like candy corn, I highly suggest trying this. Um, and then I got some string cheese for me and the kids. And then sharp cheddar for omelets and then whatever else we need it for. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be making a spice cake. So I got the super moist spice cake mix with some cream cheese frosting and some mini chocolate chips. I have a can of pumpkin in the pantry that I want to get used up. So um, stay tuned for that dessert. I'll probably add that in a what's for dinner. And then... Two of these Nor pasta sides just for like a quick lunch if I need it. So I got a cheddar broccoli and then an Alfredo broccoli. And then we needed some more ranch. So I got a thing of that. Normally I would make my own for like veggie dip, but I'm just like in survival mode right now. So I got the ranch. And then body armor is a really good source for breastfeeding. So I got a few of these. Pineapple coconut is my absolute favorite. So I got two of these. And then I wanted to try some of the light ones because they're less sugar. So I got a peach mango kiwi, strawberry, and a tropical coconut. I tried the tropical coconut, but I don't remember what I thought about it. Um, my husband got it for me when I had the flu, but I don't think I was able to drink it. So anyway, let me know what your favorite flavor of body armor is down below. I love body armor. If they weren't so expensive, I would probably drink them just like all the time. Um, you can get them on Amazon. They come in 12 packs for $14, which is a pretty good deal. I just, we're in the middle of like moving and switching addresses right now that I didn't want to order something and then it not come to the right house. So anyway, got that. I got some ice cube trays. This house does not have um, ice. So I got ice cube trays, eggs for my omelets, soda for my husband. And then I don't think I talked about this. Um, this I figured would be like a good lunch option for me. 
Um, it's the Hormel Gatherings snack tray. It comes with crackers, cheese, and um, whatever meat that you want. They have ham, salami, pepperoni. They have bigger ones that have more meats in them, but I just decided to get this. So it comes with, I don't know if you can see, the turkeys wrapped up in there, little cheeses, and then a packet of crackers. So I feel like this would be a good lunch option for me for at least a couple days because um, I'm having to like breastfeed and eat at the same time. So anyway, it's been a struggle, but anyway, that's what I got at Walmart today. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. I just dropped off the kids from school and right now I am headed to Walmart. Um, I need to get a baby bath and a baby carrier. I'm also going to check out the formula situation. I have been praying all night long. Like I am so overwhelmed with breastfeeding and the baby right now. Um, for one, she won't sleep unless I'm holding her or we're in the car. And I have two other kids that I have to take care of. So I, it's just, as much as I want to enjoy it, it's stressing me out. So if I go to Walmart today and the shelves are full, I'm probably going to buy some formula just so other people can help me feed her. Um, because, well, and a lot of this came from yesterday morning. I woke up and I had, I was in so much pain. I had so many clots in my one boob and it it took me like three hours to get it unclogged and that was from her feeding that was hand expressing that was hot compresses and then I finally used my pump and got them out and in all that time I just started getting like sicker and sicker um, I was getting uh, cold chills and body aches and just freezing to death like I was literally just sitting there shaking in so much pain and like I could tell that I had a fever and as soon as I got that milk out it all went away so I just this is the second time that's happened in the last week and I don't know if it's because she's not latching properly, which I feel like she is. I mean, sometimes she doesn't, and when she doesn't, I make her relatch. But it's just like, I don't know. I The formula shortage is so scary right now that it's like, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Because, you know, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to sustain this mentally. And then when I go back to work, like, it's so stressful to pump when you're a working mom. Not to mention I have to do it in the bathroom because that's the only place that my work has access or has a place. So, it's just, <clears throat> breastfeeding is so stressful. Like, it's definitely not the easy way out, that's for sure. While I love the bonding with my baby... I'm just really overwhelmed with it right now so I prayed all night last night just you know if if the shelves are stocked like let me take that as my sign that it's okay to stop and I know that it's okay because fed is best but every mom that has had breastfeeding issues I know has went through the same like internal battle because you know what's what's best for your baby but at the same time I don't know anyway I'm getting a baby carrier because she will not let me put her down to do anything. Yesterday, well, the last two days actually, I've been able to put her down like long enough to go to the bathroom and then come back. And she's crying. And it's not like just a little cry. It's like a mom, you better pick me up right now before I freak out cry. So I'm going to go get a baby carrier. Hopefully be able to get some stuff done around the house because I have to be able to keep up with the house because my house is so much bigger and if I don't keep up with it then we're gonna be in trouble so anyway okay so you're probably gonna hear some baby grunts because I am holding Riley but I figured I would give you a little Dollar Tree slash very small Walmart haul so um I got two brooms and two dustpans for both the bathrooms I figured that if I kept a broom and dustpan in each bathroom I would be more likely to sweep so 
decided to get two. I also got two toilet brushes for the toilets for both bathrooms. I mean, I'm not gonna spend an arm and a leg on toilet brushes because it's for the toilet. So I just got two of those from the Dollar Tree. I got three hand soaps, one for each bathroom and then one for the kitchen. I got two trash cans. I actually already have trash cans in both bathrooms, but I needed one for the laundry room for the lint and then um, another trash can for the toilet area in my bathroom because um, the bathroom's so big and I just know myself, like, whatever. My ADHD, it is what it is. Um, I wanted to get a screwdriver set for myself to keep here in the kitchen because I'm constantly, like, having to fix something and to have to go and find my husband's tools is, like, the worst thing. So I decided to get one of these little things. It just comes with um, two Phillips and two flatheads and one's big, one's small. So that will be just fine for me. I also got trash bags for the bathroom trash cans. I got this toilet bowl cleaner. I love this stuff. It makes the toilet water blue and I love it so much. Um, also, I love these Dollar Tree silicone utensils. So I got a whisk and another spoon. I use a spoon all the time. So now I have three. Also, I got one of these shelves for the cabinet. Um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in just a second, but decided to get one of those. And then my daughter... Um, I'm trying to get her to take a pacifier because she's using me as a pacifier right now. So I decided to um, try the MAM ones. We've tried the um, Tommy Tippy and then the ones that they give you in the hospital and she does not like either one of them. And then I needed a new notebook for budgeting and lists and other things like that. So I got that at the Dollar Tree. And then I saw this on an end cap at Walmart and I wanted to try it. So Clear American Pineapple Coconut. It's just flavored water. So I got some of that. And then um, we needed a baby bath, so I got a big baby bath, and then I also got a um, baby carrier. Hey guys, so today is Thursday. It is about 10 o'clock. I'm finally able to make some breakfast. So I am just making some scrambled eggs with some diced ham, and then I'm gonna put some cheese on top. Um, this is what we had for dinner last night, and it was just really, really good. So I wanted to have it again with our leftover pancakes. Um, so today, I my main focus is the laundry. So I've kind of let the laundry pile up more than I should and it's kind of gotten out of control. So I need to do that today. Um, and then just like normal everyday chores. Um, I need to unload the dishwasher. I need to do a quick sweep of the floors, make sure all the bedrooms are picked up, the bathrooms, like all that good stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. Friday. Um, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon. My kids are with their grandma and my husband is golfing, but today was an exciting day because we closed on both of our houses. Um, so we officially own this house and we officially do not own the other house. So everything went well. Um, we got our profit check, which I will share with you in my October budget. So stay tuned for that video because I'm going to be starting up the budgeting videos again, which I'm really excited about. So um, but anyways, I wanted to hop on here and end the vlog, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.